In this video, we are going to see how to use colors in your plots while you're manipulating data in R. So open R Studio and let's create one R script. Now here, I'm going to show you how this colors methods work. So let's first run this method. It will show you total 655 and more number of colors that you can use different color names here such as magenta maroon light gray steel blue etc so let's take one maroon 4 as an example and we are going to use that in our bar plot so x is my vector and i'm going to use that in my code okay so while drawing bar plot i'm going to simply point to x and then color and here I'm going to name this with let's say maroon 4 okay simply paste it here next thing we just have to select these two and run it and on right hand side you see your bar plot in maroon color you can change this to let's say tan and execute again and it should show you the change in color as well so colors is the function that gives you option to use your color in this word form you can alternatively use another method known as rgb just select this and run and you have to use values in order to properly make use of this function so let's just run help for this rgb and here in help file you see how to use it so you have to choose the numerical values for red green blue alpha and then name and max color value okay so we'll go through that but before let's take a look at our existing bar plot that can be used with alpha value so instead of this tan let's replace this with rgb method let's use numerical value 0 0.54 0 0.0 and then 0 0.0 okay now let's execute this okay and you see the values in rgb are being accepted now you can also choose one method color to RGB to convert your color into RGB value. So let's see if I want to make use of purple. So I get the value for the same 160, 32 and 240. So let's add that here. So 160, then you have 32 and then you have 240 let's select this again and execute and here it says intensity 240 not in 0 to 1 range so you have to convert this into the limit of 0 to 1 so that conversion has to be done before using so let's use point 0.1 then point and then finally 0.24 and then we will use run function and we have our color so make sure that when you're doing color to RGB you get all numbers you have to convert that into the point range in order for that to properly work you have to play with values a bit in order to get that exact color Okay, so you get the idea of how your colors function work, then color to RGB work. There is also one more way in which we can make use of hexadecimal value for color. So let's replace this and instead just use within double quotes hash, let's say FF EBCD. Okay. So let me execute this and you have the value. OK, 
okay so you can also have values change from let's say da4747 okay now let's run this and you have your variation from red okay so for get those hexadecimal values you can make use of some of those function that gives you hexadecimal value for particular color palette so you can check that color palette by checking the palette function and here you have it okay so you can also run the method and see how it will throw error for value okay so it will by default give you black red green blues and magenta yellow and green but when you open that in viewer you should get the value for your palette okay then there are some vector values as well that you can make use of so for vector you just have to change this into let's say color and then vector here let's see red and then blue and then green and then yellow okay and now you can simply run this again and your values for each bar are changed okay you can alternatively also use rainbow colors as well so you can use rainbow function 0.26 total so for your values from 1 to 6 it will choose that in your case you have 4 you have to increase those values okay so let me okay so with rainbow option you get different color for each bar okay so this is how you work with different color values for your lots while doing the data manipulation in R.